Welcome to Compute 175 Python Review. In this video, we will discuss the built-in data structure dictionaries. We will talk about how we can store key-value pairs and how the data is indexed in these containers. We will talk about how we access keys and how we access values. What is a dictionary in Python? Well, a dictionary is a container, and it's in an indexed container, where elements in that container are indexed not just by 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, but it's indexed by, they're indexed by a key. In other words, a dictionary is a set of pairs, key-value pairs, and you can access the values by providing their keys. So let's see an example. You have a set of students that you want to store. Let's say we use a list. So students ball and uh, Yasmin Maria. So this is my list. Let's check it. Yes, I have a list. If I want to retrieve Peng, I need to know its position. In this particular case, it's the second place. So I put students of one, and I should get Peng, indeed. If I need to retrieve Maria, I need to know that she is in the fourth position. So I need to put students of three, and there's Maria. A better way is to use a dictionary, particularly if I know the student IDs of these students. So in this case, we will write students, and we use a curly bracket. I will put the student ID, let's say one, two, three, four, column, and that's for Paul. And then for Peng, we'll have another student ID, five, six, seven, eight. That's Peng. And then uh, you can see I have now two pairs a key and a value, a key and a value. Now we'll add two other pairs, another key, let's say 9876, and that will be uh, Yasmin. And then finally, another pair, and let's say um, 6543, and that would be Maria. Okay, we close with the curly bracket, and that's my Dictionary. If I want to access Peng, I need to know the key, which is his student ID, and then we'll type students, not of two or three or the index, I will put the key. So five, six, seven, eight. And indeed I get Peng. If I want to retrieve Maria, I know her student ID, six, five, four, three, and I will punt off that key. 6543. And there you go, you have Maria. So, a dictionary, you can ask it, give me all your keys, students, and you, you ask, give me the key. So, you, you invoke that method, and you'll get, oh, key, sorry, it's keys. So, students. then you go you get all the keys in the dictionary in the same way you can ob obtain all the values stored in the in the dictionary so we'll put students dot values and you get all the values but in reality they're all pairs and the order is not necessarily known it's not it's not relevant because they're not indexed by their position they're indexed by the key. So these are a, a dictionary is a set of key value pairs. The keys of uh, each pair should be unique. That's how we can identify the pair. And the value can be anything. It is just a string, so you can put anything in it. In this particular case, we could have 
not just as the value the, the name of the student, but we can have the name of a student, a separator, and then some grade, a separator, another grade, a separator, so all the, the marks that they got in the assignments, for example. So the dictionary can become like a small database. You just have to process the value as a string to extract all the information you require. In this video, we've seen the containers dictionaries and how we can store in them data indexed by unique keys in the form of key value pairs. The value is a string and it can be anything.